What's up everyone? This is Kai Lenny. Welcome to my humble abode. Come check it out. I'm hardly home 90% of the time, but with the whole quarantine virus thing, we're stuck at our houses and I love this place. It's right across the street from the beach. My girlfriend Molly and the bed is in the living room, which is perfect because it's next to my big TV. So this is my record collection. I don't have that many, but I have a really cool record player that I got for Christmas one time. I just love the sound of the uh, vinyl disc going in circles. Could go all day with that. I need more records, I'll admit it. Right over here are some just fun boards that I use. Well, this is Molly's. You can see this thing from space. It's just my standard shortboard that I've been training on. But then I have this cool twin fin, courtesy of Punker Pat. I have this legendary artist um, paint these cool things on it. Got my soft top, because when the waves are so small, I can just run over rocks and it's all good. We'll go check out where all the boards live across the street. So I'll take you up to my loft, which is where my mini office is, slash closet, slash everything else. Here's just a couple trophies that I keep around for inspiration. Last year I accomplished kind of a dream, which was winning biggest wave of the year at the Big Wave Awards, as well as men's best overall performance. Got inducted to the Surfers Hall of Fame, which was crazy. I didn't think I'd ever have that honor. A heavy water award from Surfer Awards a couple years ago. Still probably the coolest trophy I've ever gotten, which was winning the Puerto Escondido Challenge. My first big wave win. This jersey holds a lot of value for me because this is what I used during the Nazare toe contest with Lucas Jumbo. And we had just so much fun. This just reminds me of the day and to always charge and go big. My closet. I have a lot of Aloha shirts I've collected over the years. And um, you know, living in Hawaii, basically our suit is an Aloha shirt. And snowboard gear, of course, because I love to snowboard. I just wish we had a local mountain here. Maybe the next ice age if I can live long enough. I'm fortunate to be sponsored by Nike, so they always send me the sickest slides. Occasionally, when I got a Pipaniolo, I got my cowboy boots. <laughs> this is my little office. Big things happening. And Jaws is always waiting. So I'm, I'm usually staring at that going, okay, when's the day that I can go out there and either tomahawk down a big one or do a backflip down a big one. I honestly think it's only a matter of time before I trip and tomahawk down the stairs. It's like pretty dangerous, but I like living life on the edge. Follow me into the kitchen. So we're gonna check out the kitchen, see what goodness lies in there. Always keeping fruit, a couple veggies there to snack on through the day. I love these cutie tangerines. I can go through like eight in one sitting usually. This might be the most he's ever been in the kitchen. Burn. Um, so this is the fridge. We have enough food to last probably two weeks. I'll eat through it in three days. So let's just hope that shipments of meals keep coming in. I love my sauces. Oof. I love ketchup. And then this is my favorite. This is for special occasions. It's Verde Salsa from Taco Bell. You can't get these anymore because well, I guess people didn't like them that much, but I love them. So I'll go to Taco Bell, pick up my bean burritos, and basically layer it with this Verde salsa. And, oh my God. Most importantly, the freezer. Of course, you gotta have some vanilla ice cream. At the end of the day, it's the way I unwind. This is my stove, where I create eggs of epic proportions. Well, Molly is so gracious and kind to make me eggs of epic proportions. This is a tiger shark jaw. I remember when I was maybe eight or nine years old, I got given it from a Tahitian legend, Robert Terry Tahao. It's always served as my worst fear, but at the same time, the coolest inspiration. I mean, the big wave jaws is down the street and here are the jaws to back it up. <sighs> oh God, no. <laughs> this is my bathroom, my throne, and a piece of artwork by John Severson. And then here's my big mirror, where I flex most of the time. This is my um, shower, where I clean myself off once a week. The reason why I live here is because I'm so close to the beach and it's an opportunity to train as much as I can and go out the front door and immediately get in the water. This is where I practice kind of my cartwheels. We'll do a little surf check right now. 
Um, so this is the little perch, the deck, to see what's going on with the conditions. Without a doubt, top five biggest waves on the planet. It's literally a quarter mile off my lawn. Very fickle though. So we end up going way up the coast, which is probably 10 miles from here to a place called Jaws. You might've heard of it. And that's where some of the biggest, best barrels on the planet come in. Let's go across the street to where my boardroom is and uh, we can check out some other stuff at my parents' house. <laughs> so we built this kind of barn and it's housed my stuff for many years now. And this barn already doesn't have enough space. This is my boardroom where I keep most of my toys. Depending on the time of year, equipment comes in and out. Winter time, I'll have more big wave stuff. And summertime, I'll have more summertime toys. Like my 14 foot stand-up paddle race board. These are my tow boards. I just keep them here all the time. These are readily available if something pops up. Some of my favorite boards from Jaws and Nazare are right here. And then this is my Nazare board, the one I use with Lucas to win the Nazare Tow Championships. This is my Santa Paddle um, foil race board. This is what I set the record on for Molokai to Oahu. And then up here are all my Santa Paddle surf boards. I got a good little quiver there. Foil boards, different foil boards for different conditions. From toe foil to the smallest foil board I own, two foot eight. It's about the exact width of my stance, so I can be hanging five permanently. This is called the tray. This is for kiting. No fins, super small. This is, this board may be the smallest board I use and have, but it throws the biggest sprays of all my boards by far. You get it on this like little tail edge and you can displace the entire ocean. Basically drown in your own spray. Uh, one of the reasons why I have all my boards looking the exact same is because I watch Formula One and their cars look so cool. I have to bring that sport to my sport. I got my e-foil boards. It's been so flat, no wind, no waves. We'll go cruise out the coast. This board, this is my lightning bolt shape by Jerry Lopez. I got it for Christmas a couple years ago and Jerry's unbelievable mentor. Him and his brother have been uh, huge inspirations in my life. Got some of my favorite big wave guns. This is a 10 foot four inch Nazare gun or Cortez Bank, I haven't decided yet. Whichever one breaks first, this will get you on a big wave. Maybe a bigger wave than you want. So I kind of have every size board. So if I go to Oahu, got sunset boards, ranging down to pipe and back door boards off the wall, um, backups of the same board because, well, when you start failing waves, they break. Or if I go to cloud break or somewhere else in the South Pacific, then we go down into the short boards. I have a bunch of awesome short boards from a bunch of awesome shapers. What the heck is that thing? It's a hydrofoil sailing boat and it goes really fast. Extremely difficult to sail. Probably above my skill level as a sailor. For the most part, I just respect my equipment. And so I try to keep it top notch because as a professional athlete, it's my job to be the best in the water and the best I can on land too. Here's a slack line. If I don't talk, maybe I can do it. Haha! -ha! First try! <laughs> This is my skate ramp. Nothing really translates because, well, I surf regular foot, so any 360s I learned on this ramp, goofy foot, is for the day I become a goofy foot shortboarder. This is my parents' house. We're going into the kitchen. Me, hey, mom. <laughs> Say hi, me. She's amazing, of course. These are a lot of the rest of my trophies. I need to find a better place for them. Now we head into this room. In this hallway, my parents put up all the covers that I've gotten since I was a little kid. It's really fun to kind of come down here every once in a while and sort of just relive some of the moments from these covers because they were, I think, all defining points of my life. Each magazine and each cover has a special place in my heart for sure. Sometimes I look at it and I'm like, God, I wish I could go relive that moment, but the closest thing I can do is just we live it through the images. Hope you enjoyed this little tour of my house and got to see just where I've been hanging out during this crazy time. Hope you and your family stay safe and one day catch an awesome surf session together. Aloha.
Do you like that? Well, if so, subscribe over there and then watch more videos over there. And then tell us your favorite videos down there. It's a three-step process. Do them all now.